prior. Management were unaware she had a young baby. Her planned babysitter had bailed at the last minute, so fearful of losing her job she had brought her baby to work. She'd fed her bub and then settled her down to sleep in what she thought was an unoccupied hotel room. She then started her cleaning rounds. The thing is, being new and unfamiliar with the large hotel, she was disoriented and mistakenly thought she had left her baby in room 227, on the floor above our room. When she went to check on her bub 30 minutes later, and found the room empty, she panicked. She was scared of the hotel manager, her boss, and didn't want to lose her job. So she called her sister, who called the police. The maid met the police when they arrived in the hotel car park. The suited man turned out to be a doctor who had been called by the reception lady to attend to a sick English baby. He took the baby from the policeman's arms and handed it to the relieved mother, who was still crying copiously. Then the translator and my husband came over to where I was still handcuffed and demanded that I be released. Shortly after this the hotel manager arrived and was briefed by the police, the reception lady and the translator. The young maid was sitting in a corner breastfeeding her baby, still crying. As a result of all this, the man